Hello and welcome to this special CUBE conversation. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE here in our Palo Alto studios. We have CUBE alumni and co-founder and CTO of Kong, Marco Palandino is back. We got some big news, API management platform supporting dedicated multi-cloud is the hot area. Great to see you, thanks for coming back. Well, great to see you again. So you guys got some news. Um, we were chatting about the AI gateway recently. You and your team did a great sprint on and nailed that product. I want to get an update for sure on that. Obviously AP, um, control planes, data planes. The hot thing now is the AI gateway across clouds. Give us the update on the big news. Well, so we are announcing our dedicated cloud gateway solution on top of Connect. So let me explain. Today, Kong already has a cloud control plane that allows every organization in the world to be able to have a unified control plane when they start gateways, ingress controllers, and service meshes, and AI gateways. And today, we are announcing a new capability of Connect, the ability to press one button and deploy global, multi-cloud, multi-region, gateway infrastructure across the world. So this is your typical SaaS gateway infrastructure, but with a twist. There are some technology innovations that we have built that make these quite unique in the landscape. And of course, it is being powered by Kong Gateway, which is a very famous and popular API gateway technology out there. Yeah, you guys, the APIs are the connect points for everything these days. We know that in covering it for over a decade. The global piece is super important. Um, why is that important? Because what's different about global what are some of the things around the global aspect of it? The one click in the cloud, obviously AWS, the big cloud, the biggest cloud. What's the global impact here? Is it simplicity? Is it functionality? Both? What's the upside on the global aspect of this? Well, so the infrastructure that we've built to be able to deploy a globally distributed API gateway on Connect it is actually quite unique because we have built a few things that are not available in um, other products out there. First and foremost, this is multi-cloud. Uh, we're shipping um, at GA with AWS support acro across a variety of regions. Uh, in a couple of months, we're going to be announcing Azure, and then before the end of the year, we're also going to be supporting GCP. This is important because every organization in the world, especially the top Fortune 500s, are already powering applications across more than one cloud. And being able to deploy infrastructure that can run simultaneously across every cloud reduces complexity and simplifies the operational uh, task that the platform team has to put in place in order to be able to manage that infrastructure. So you manage it the same way, yeah. whether it's running on AWS or GCP or Azure. Then we built it on dedicated infrastructure, which means that everything that's being provisioned, it's entirely compartmentalized from what other customers on Connect may be running. Therefore, it is the most secure and most performant gateway offering you can find anywhere else in the world today. And then we've built it in such a way that it can run with auto scaling. We call it autopilot because you press a button, you provision it across all the regions, all the clouds, and then you forget about it. We will automatically scale it up and down based on the live traffic that we're seeing in the infrastructure. Or uh, the customer can choose to decide how many nodes they want to start. And you know you would typically do that for yeah. cost predictability or infrastructure predictability. So multi-cloud, multi-region with auto provisioning, but also management around loading. Correct, so auto scaling. Yeah, auto scaling right. up and down, okay. And the provisioning piece, you said it auto provisions? It auto provisions. So essentially the way it works, and it's available today, so anybody can go and, and check it out. We can go on connect, we can provision a, a control plane, and we can attach a dedicated cloud gateway to the control plane. We choose the Kong version that we want to run. We choose if we want auto scaling, yes or no. Mm -hmm. We choose what clouds and what regions. We are obviously announcing AWS today, but there is going to be more clouds like I mentioned. And then we choose uh, if we want our cluster to be public or private. We support private networking. So we could be using this entirely yeah. as a private use case for internal APIs or we can use this publicly at the edge if you have APIs that we want to expose, let's say, to a mobile application or a developer ecosystem. And well, then that's it. We press a button and we provision. Yeah, the one-click thing is this cool feature. I want to get into how it works. You, you jumped ahead on me. So private networking, securing connections across multiple clouds, across regions with private networking is going to be a requirement, especially as the AI gateway comes in with LLMs. How does this all work? Because API management now is, I won't say complicated, but it's getting more complex as more connections happen. So naturally it evolves and it's, it's bigger. Uh, what, what are some of the things of, of how, why this works well, private networking, what, what, what's up under the hood? Well, so 
let's look at the journey of an API management solution or technology inside of an organization. Yeah. We start with a team building APIs. They don't want to build you know, cross-cutting requirements like authentication, observability, load balancing, all of that um, uh, requirements. And then they use a gateway technology to be able to provision it by themselves. Then there is another team, maybe running in a different cloud, maybe running in a different environment. They are also building APIs and they provision their own infrastructure. Every team today, it is an API team. Every developer is an API developer because every application that we built in the world, it is powered by APIs. It is the backbone of our organization, of our products. Everything is an API. And over time, having different gateway solutions running in different environments increases the complexity and the security risk of the organization because now we have much fragmentation yeah. across the board instead of having a unified solution yeah. to cater to every team. And so with this solution, the dedicated cloud gateways, we can solve that problem because it runs simultaneously within the same cluster. It can run across multiple clouds and multiple regions. It is the easiest way to essentially remove all the complexity that the teams have put in place over the last few years and then give them a solution that just works natively with their yeah. environments, with private networking, so it is as secure and as performant as if they were running it themselves, yeah. but we run it for them. Obviously, we are experts in running gateways, so we are delegating that complexity to the Kong team, uh, which, by the way, also makes it more cost-effective yeah. because now the team members in the organization, the SREs that were managing that 24-7 infrastructure can do better things. They can actually focus on their platform, their business, their products, instead of managing infrastructure. So what are some of the customer comments? What, what do they say to you? Give us some anecdotal sound bites, like, we love you guys, you saved our butts, or we had a kludgy, disparate, disjointed architecture, we couldn't auto-provision. What were some of the, the, the problems that went away, or what enhancements did you guys make differently once Kong came in? Was it a better, faster, simpler environment? Was it better performance, better security? What were the key before and after when you guys come into an environment that's got disparate API systems? Before, I have to deploy the software, I have to run it, I have to scale it, I have to upgrade it, I have to onboard the team members, I have to then build expertise on running it in one cloud, another cloud, Kubernetes, non-Kubernetes, virtual machines. After, I press one button and I just deploy that infrastructure, which mm -hmm. makes our API management solution become like electricity. Why electricity? Let me explain that. <laughs> Today, we plug something in in an outlet and it just works. In our homes, in our office, we just plug it in and it works. We're turning API management as electricity. It just works. It's always there, up and running, ready to cater to new traffic, to new use cases. It auto scales. It runs everywhere the same way. And it allows us to have that global visibility across the entire API portfolio that the organization is creating, which is essential to be able to drive business outcomes on top of the APIs that we are building, like accelerating developer productivity, shipping new products faster by assembling existing APIs in a better way. Uh, it allows us to enter new markets and it just allows us to have visibility in a way that uh, we can innovate and we can build faster and better. Now, we are removing that complexity from the teams. We are also removing that complexity from the platform team that's catering to the application teams and making that available in one click. Obviously, mm -hmm. Kong is now maintaining it uh, for these organizations and I'll tell you more. Even before announcing this capability, we actually closed our first customers because once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's so easy to provision this infrastructure that you are wondering why am I even running it myself ever again. It runs everywhere. It's the fastest technology. It is actually twice as fast as native cloud solutions yeah. that otherwise the organization may consider, which is quite of a big deal. It's twice as fast, twice, at least twice more throughput at half the latency. That means that when someone buys a ticket online through our pro products, that is uh, half the time. It's double the time as quick as it would be otherwise. Uh, it means that when we're sending money to somebody else for an API request, that money, that transfer, that API call is tw twice as fast than otherwise it would be. The product experience is going yeah. to be better. Marco, this is one of the things I'm fascinated by your company and where the trend is going because you almost have to step back and say, how did we get here? And it sounds like, and, and what we've seen is, as DevOps grew, the API sprawl happened. And it kind of just grew and it's like, why are we doing this? Is that really the, the key pain point? It's like, it's kind of become so instituted that it's just 
it's critical infrastructure, but it was it became that by default of the growth of DevOps. Is that kind of the core problem? APIs are the new internet. And we had this conversation last time when we spoke about yeah. AI gateway, yeah. the artificial intelligence gateway, uh, which at the time was a new product we shipped. And we talked and we spoke about, at that time, about APIs being the new internet. 85% of the internet traffic is APIs. Yeah. Internet is APIs. And the internet as we know it, made of websites, made of emails, made of, that internet disappeared and got replaced by API traffic. APIs are the backbone yeah. of our digital world, which is everything yeah. we do on a daily basis. Yeah. How you get paid, how you watch something online, how you travel, how you book tickets, everything is powered by an API. Can we make that underlying API infrastructure twice as fast, uh, with lower latency, globally distributed and more secure, then it's a big win, not only for the organizations that we work yeah. with, but from the customers and the end users that are using their applications. Yeah, no debate on that. So check on that. You got me sold on that. I'm totally in, aligned and believe in, in that religion. The question I'm getting at is, is that on the customer problem set, they've been doing the APIs. It's almost as if it's been part of the culture. Is there benefit with Kong the increase in velocity of more API deployments? I mean, what are customers saying to you when they, after they move from their homegrown or their evolved API management or system to Kong? What, what are some of the anecdotal uh, feedback? Like we're going fast or I'm redeploying resources. What's the benefit to them? The customer wants to go faster. They want to reduce complexity and they want to gather more visibility and more, um, how can I say, better management capabilities on top of the API portfolio that the organization is creating. And, and with Kong, they can do all of that. Quite frankly, Kong is uh, the fastest API technology in the world. You know, Kong also comes from the open source community. Uh, we have an open source core that is very popular across the world. We process 20 trillion requests every month that we know of. It's probably much higher than that uh, every month across the world. And, and that's all API traffic that we process. It is extensible because you can build plugins on top of it. Uh, it already ships with hundreds of integrations and hundreds of capabilities. So there is really no point in reinventing the wheel when there is a technology that is already doing it for them. And it's very easy to use yeah. and it's very quick and very performant yeah. and very extensible too. Yeah. It, gets, it, gets, it gets to very value faster. If you're building something, you go with Kong and you say, hey, they've got it taken care of, check like electricity, now I work on other things and building out that in the house, whether it's, if that's, if that's the metaphor. So you take care of that. Now I want to, I'm curious about the Amazon Web Services as the first cloud, you're announcing this. What about Azure and Google Cloud Platform? Yep, so today we are announcing AWS SGA. We are going to be announcing very soon in 30, 45 days, uh, the tech preview for Azure, and then that's going to be the next GA cloud we're going to be announcing, and then before the end of the year, GCP. So before the end of the year, we will be able to support 30, 40 plus regions across mm -hmm. all the three major clouds, and the ability to deploy gateway, API gateway infrastructure seamlessly, running in one or more clouds in one click. It is something that does not exist today. Okay, so you know I'm a big fan of Kong, love what you guys are doing. I do believe the internet is powered by APIs. I think it's only going to get better. That's the connective tissue for all applications. It's only going to get better with edge computing and on-premise and as distributed computing goes next level with AI, you're seeing it now. And I want to get back to the AI gateway, a couple questions there, but I want to ask you this question. I'll be the skeptic. I'm a, I'm a skeptic. I'm a customer. I don't, well, I got other solution options out there. Why, I got all the, why you, why Kong over the other guys? What's your answer to that? How do you compete against the other solutions? What do you say to the skeptical customer who's you know, doubting the, the conjecture and the claims or might think there's a better solution? What do you say to that? Everything starts from the technology. At the end of the day, we are infrastructure technology providers. And so despite everything I say, the, the real final test is the technology test. Is the technology going to cater to the customers, the organization use case? And whenever we put Kong in place in the organization and we benchmark it, we look at what it can do, we look at how it can be extended, there is no one that can say that the technology is not best in class. And so really we're starting from technology first, and then based on that, we are then looking at the use cases where we can deploy this technology to make the life of the developers easier when they're building new products or building new APIs. But the technology, it is something that I am quite proud of, being yeah. the CTO of the organization, <laughs> that's something that obviously yeah. uh, I'm quite proud of. 
and our uh, company, my company, Kong, has been uh, incredible in the ability to hire the best talent that can then work on creating this best technology for APIs. APIs are so critical that today, Kong is being used in every sort of use case, every vertical that you can think of, but it's powering uh, the top 10 banks in the world. The majority of them is running on top of Kong. Uh, across the world, we're powering airline ticketing, we're powering um, stadium ticketing, we're powering e-commerce, retail, we're powering healthcare. It is being used in mission critical use cases where the stakes are very high. One customer of mine, uh, I asked them, what happens, Kong is not going to go down, but what happens if Kong were to go down? And his answer was, well, the global economy would fail. <laughs> that's how critical APIs yeah. are, and that's yeah. how critical our technology yeah. is. And we have the best technology to be able to handle the most mission critical workloads, and now we're making this technology available in one click. I think having the technology as the base truth grounded in technology, it sounds like you guys as in your journey as a startup and now growing like, like crazy, is to look at customer use cases, deployments. So that's the multi-cloud, multi-region a dedicated infrastructure and the seamless integration, that's part of this announcement. So this is like the next chapter, yep. if you will, on top of the technology. We are working with uh, organizations that are quite strict in how they are protecting and securing uh, and complying with, mm -hmm. with their data. And you know, APIs, they transfer data. So it's quite of a critical piece of the infrastructure. And the reason why we built it in a dedicated compartmentalized way it is because we understand these requirements and we do not want to run everything on a shared infrastructure where there is a possibility of uh, having more than one customer running on the same underlying servers. Yeah. We wanted to separate that because we wanted to yeah. give the best technology, even in the cloud, even as a SaaS service, the best technology to our customers. Typically, yeah. when we are looking at SaaS and dedicated uh, technologies, Dedicated is typically harder to use, it's harder to deploy, but that's not the case with Connect Dedicated Cloud Gateways. We have the power of dedicated, the compartmentalization of dedicated, and yet we have the same ease of use of serverless. Um, we press one button, we fire and forget, that infrastructure will scale automatically for us, it will be the fastest infrastructure we will deploy for APIs without having to worry about pretty much anything. Kong does it for the customer. So it's really the best of both worlds. So I got, before we get into the AI gateway next, I want to just ask one final question on this piece in the news. What is an example or what are some signs or symptoms or indicators from customers out there maybe watching this video that would kind of scream, I need to get to Kong? What are some of the things in their environment that would be hot spots, pain points, rooms on fire? What kind of things, if someone looks at their environment, is it certain symptoms, well, how would you talk about that piece of it? When do they know to call Kong? Organizations are realizing that in order to be able to move faster, they don't need just an API technology in place. They need an API vision and an API playbook that they can build upon in order to be able to automate what the developers do when it comes to shipping and creating and deploying new APIs. APIs are products. We need to have a life cycle for APIs the same way we have a life cycle for any other product in the organization. Now, building that life cycle, uh, building new APIs, onboarding those APIs, versioning them, decommissioning them, uh, being able to maintain this API portfolio can be quite challenging. And so typically, we work with customers that are seeing the limits of what they've yeah. built up until now, and they decide to, you know, the time is right to standardize on an end-to-end -end platform that can give them that unified control plane to manage all of the APIs with automation in such a way that the platform team doesn't become the bottleneck, but the developers can self-serve some yeah. of those API policies without having to ask all the time. Technology that's so fast, that yeah. can run in Kubernetes, in the cloud. So they want something that essentially allows their developers to focus on the business, which is yeah. the products, the customers, and not on building infrastructure. So if APIs are unwieldy, they basically have so much laying around, so much work's going on, maintaining it. It, it, is, it is a lot of work. When we look at APIs holistically, it is about providing the infrastructure, yes. It is about also providing the onboarding, providing the documentation, providing the analytics, providing the governance, the compliance, the security, and we can keep going and going on and on and on. <laughs> it's a lot of things no, that need to no be- No one wants an electrical plant on their facility. Uh, pretty Just much. go right to you guys. Uh, pretty much, yeah. right. And so we work with them yeah. 
to make sure that our solution works very well for their use case, but at the same time, it is customizable because obviously everybody's going to have edge cases they need to cater to, and we want to be able to customize it. So a AWS is GA, Azure's coming, Google's after that this year, end of the year, all end three of, clouds? Before the end of the year, yeah. All right, awesome. So last time you were on theCUBE, let's switch over to the AI gateway because this is like the hottest area right now. And so you got, you told the story of the product that you announced that you got a small team and in Kong fashion, you guys jammed it out the door, got it out all done, small teams move fast. Uh, you were really proud of that. Um, how's that going? Because that whole idea of building and maintaining LLM based apps is hot. In fact, um, the CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Wong, said at their developer conference, he validated that there'll be generative culture where LLMs will need to talk to each other, which is a point that you made weeks and weeks before that event. So how's that going? Are customers adopting the AI gateway to build and manage these LLM apps? What's the update on the AI gateway? Well, so the more AI, the more API, right? That's, that's where it all starts. We can use AI, train AI, or have AI interact with our systems and services, and it's always an API powering all three behaviors. And so if there is an API, well, that's the perfect fit for what Kong does in the API world. Mm -hmm. And so we did announce, uh, when was that? Six, eight weeks ago, we yeah. announced our AI gateway, and believe it yeah. or not, we're actually going in production with two Fortune 500s that heard about that announcement, and they were telling us, look, we were building the same thing ourselves. You guys have it. We're actually con customers already. Why don't we explore, evaluate yeah. your technology? And they're now going in production with our AI gateway uh, to be able to cater to all of that AI traffic. When it comes to AI, you know, so you got product market fit going on big time right now. Well, because everybody who's using AI today needs to have security governance uh, around that AI traffic. It's very critical. And either they build it or they use Kong, but however they do it, they need something in place. And so if Kong can be a good technology fit, why not use Kong? And so we are improving developer productivity because we support both cloud and self-hosted LLMs. So we can orchestrate across multiple LLMs to improve the reliability of the results to improve cost, to reduce latency, to self-train, um, self to fine-tune self-hosted models uh, that the organizations are building. But then we can also uh, enforce governance and compliance and security on top of all of that AI traffic. Now the cool thing about AI is that with this new announcement, dedicated cloud gateways, because AI is a feature of the gateway, we could be provisioning in the cloud in one click an AI gateway as well. So any organization today who's using AI and they want to have infrastructure to be able to process that traffic and make the developers more productive when using AI and securing that AI traffic, they can do it with this new announcement in one click in the cloud. So AWS and then Azure and GCP before the end of the year. So Amazon has the Amazon gateway that you just announced. AI gateway supports in that cloud one click. What use cases specifically does, does that support? Someone doing modeling in the cloud or managing data? What would be the example of why I would click on the AI gateway to work on Amazon? What, what use case? Well, whether we're using AWS uh, LLMs uh, backed by, let's say, Bedrock, or whether we're using OpenAI, whether we're using self-hosted uh, technologies that we're running ourselves, we need a gateway that allows us to visualize, orchestrate, and manage all of that AI traffic. At the end of the day, APIs, it is what enables the AI consumption. Yeah. And those APIs, like every other API, yeah. need to be secured. Now, with our gateway technology, we can deploy in AWS Kong technology or Azure or GCP down the road to cater to that AI requirement in addition to the API requirement. The point being, in one click, we can kill two birds with one stone. We can simplify and accelerate the adoption of AI, yeah. while at the same time, also rolling out a modern technology for yeah. APIs beyond AI, our APIs that we're building ourselves. So developers on premise could be coding with local LLMs, go to the cloud with Bedrock, maybe Anthropic, maybe do a little things with AWS, VPC setup, you guys are managing all that seamlessly. Correct, and by the way, the cloud gateway offering that we're announcing, it is in addition to the hybrid offering. Hybrid means that we still support the control plane in the cloud, but then you can uh, run the data plane, the gateways or AI gateway still on-prem if the organization yeah. wants to have more control on that traffic. Yeah. But now they have options. Yeah. If, if they want to run it in one click, they could. If they want to run it on-prem, 
they still can that's available today. So we are giving them the most options to be able to simplify that infrastructure. Okay, so you got public cloud gateway, AI gateway, and, and you got a hybrid gateway. What about edge? We can deploy it in the edge as well. So today when we provision a cloud gateway cluster, there is one question in the wizard and it's asking us, is it a public cluster or a private cluster? If it's a private cluster, we, are, we can uh, support private networking to power internal use cases that are not accessible from the internet. It is as secure and as performant as if they were running it themselves. But if they choose public, we provision a globally distributed um, DNS that targets all the regions in such a way that we can provide them with multi-region and multi-cloud connectivity out of the box. If one region goes down, we can implement automatic failovers in another region and we do all of that in an automatic way. So there is nothing else that needs to be done other than provisioning the cluster in one wizard and it's like four or five steps. Huge progress, one click, API in the cloud, dedicated infrastructure, seamless integration into Kong, multi-cloud coming with end of the year with Azure and Google, you got all the bases covered. Oh yeah, I mean, that's, 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 uh, <laughs> that's, our, that's our vision. <laughs> Marco, thank you for coming in and congratulations on the new update and looking forward to seeing what comes next. Thank you for the opportunity to okay, talk. Okay, Marco Pelladio is here, CTO and co-founder of Kong, the API management platform now supporting dedicated multi-cloud environments, launching first with AWS, Azure, and Google Next. Thanks for watching.